It's part of the Quad Cities history. You know, there's a, a certain legacy that this place is leaving behind. For years, the Quad City Downs ran live race horses in East Moline. Then, in the 90s, restrictions on casinos shut down the live race track. Eventually, it was just used for simulcasting races and off-track betting. But when even that wasn't enough to keep the business afloat, the Downs closed at the end of January. This weekend, the track will auction off hundreds of items, large and small. One of the most popular. The horse heads that hung outside, without a doubt, there's over 70 of them. And I bet I get 20 calls a day just on those horse heads. Also, we've got a bunch of great uh, black and white pictures that are blown up two foot by two foot, three foot by two foot. Some other big ticket items, commercial grade kitchen equipment and large machinery like tractors and hay racks. John Bloomberg, the auctioneer, says folks are coming from all over the Midwest to get their hands on a piece of Quad Cities history. A lot of people used to race here, of course. And so they're coming back. Uh, I had a phone call this morning from a veterinarian up in Rockford, Illinois, and he got all of his buddies together that used to race here in the early 80s, and they're coming down as a group. So it's going to be fun. It's, there's going to be a lot of new faces and a lot of people coming back and really reliving what was a glory time in, in Illinois, in the Quad Cities. It's not about what it is now, you know, um, it's about what it was then. Looking back at what the Quad City Downs was and taking one last trip down memory lane. Ashley Richmond, Local 4 News.